hello youtube again this is this is the third take third third take uh the first time uh the camera wasn't on the second time the microphone was pulling from the laptop instead of my voiceover microphone right here so let's try this again um uh what i did i got it put together and uh all i used was or I used four sheets of this 11 by 17, so tabloid size paper, just kind of laid it out so that it fit, covered the entire digitizer, and uh, just taped it together with some scotch tape, cellophane tape, whatever you want to call it, and just placed it underneath the uh, tablet, or excuse me, underneath the monitor on top of the tablet board, uh, Two or three issues that I have right now. I'll, I'll just briefly repeat them because I've already done it twice. <laughs> anyway, um, it's not your fault. It's totally mine. Uh, or computer issues, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, um, the, the tablet works again. It works a lot better. I can go all the way down to the bottom of the screen. No problem at all and the top it's it's functioning a lot better than it did before um, anyway so that's good the jitter is still there from the you know it's a 12 year old machine um, but the good thing is the big malfunction when it would get down here and start doing this kind of a number um, is no longer there the it appears that I didn't do too much damage. There was a little bit of a of a gray spot connecting over here on the circuit of the digitizer. And then over on this side, there was also a little bit of, it didn't look gray, it looked brown. But since I didn't take a look at the digitizer before I even put the thing on there, I don't know if I did any damage. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. So anyway, it appears that that paper is sufficient to shield the digitizer from the magnetic, or excuse me, aluminum tape that's on the back here that could be causing, could have been causing that short circuit to happen. Um, as you can see, it all works fairly well. I can drag things around the screen. Um, no, no problems there. So anyway, um, the other two issues are that the monitor is no longer attached to anything. It's, it's kind of sandwiched in place up here near the top where the PCB that controls, you know, it's got the, the ribbons that connect to the LCD screen itself. Um, those are the only thing that are holding it in place and those are kind of sandwiched and then under this tape here at the top. So that is very precarious for me. I'm not, not thrilled with that right now. Um, so I need to find a way to affix the monitor to either the front of the case or the back of the case. I'm still working on that yet. Um, so right now this is not going to be a per uh, portable model. <laughs> This will be a stay here at my desk and hope it doesn't fall off because if it does, then I'm going to have to, you know, fix everything. Um, and then the other issue is the plexiglass is really smooth on this one side. And this top side is also smooth. Those are the manufacturer's edge of the piece of plexiglass that I got. However, this side is really rough because... Um, you know, I'm not an expert at cutting plexiglass, and even if I were, there are times when things go wrong. And I've got some really rough edge here and rough edge here at the bottom. Uh, maybe my fault because I think I'm the one, well, yeah, I know I am. I'm the one that put the plexiglass on this way. And uh, so anyway, I don't want to end up cutting my finger or scratching, you know, anything here on the sides, so I need a way to smooth that out. So maybe in my process of mounting the screen into the tablet housing itself, maybe in that process I will come up with a solution to keep this nice and smooth. 
and also make it look a little better. It's kind of ugly. Um, the other issue is, I, I guess this is four. I told you three, but anyway, four. Um, this button strip for the uh, monitor controls, uh, it broke. I mentioned that in the video. I do, I picked up today from FreeCycle a, uh, the 20 inch model. This is the 20 and a half or 21 and a half. So it's a little smaller. Um, but if I don't have a need for that, I could take the buttons out of that and use it here. Otherwise I can, you know, look at 3d printing buttons or find some other way to make a button, uh, set up that'll work here for me. So anyway, those are my, that's, that's kind of what I've got here. I haven't screwed it back together because I was in testing phase still. So I'm going to screw it back together. Uh, well, pause the video, screw it back together. You don't need to see all that. It's kind of boring anyway. Um, and then I will show you some actual drawing with the tablet. Um, because like I said last time, my, uh, my hard drive filled up with recording. So I'm going to do that on a separate video and, uh, I will catch you on that one. Thank you all for watching and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this build and stay with me as I uh, subscribe uh, to stay with me as I work on this and update it and keep it going. So thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so basically my wife does this Zen Tangle art, which is kind of like doodling inside pictures. And uh, anyway, this is her photo or her, her illustration that I've scanned in. I'm going to set it as a, <clears throat> as a template so that it's more, more, uh, you know, faded back. Then I'll get the uh, paintbrush tool. Okay, so some of you might notice that the cursor is a little bit out of place with the, uh, the stylus, which it's fine because I can see where I'm drawing on the screen and so that it's, you know, it's fine even though it's not calibrated properly. And so what I need to do is go in and uh, change that. And I'll show you where that is. That's just down in the, well, we get a little bit of the problem still there at the bottom connecting. So we'll go to the pen mapping, make sure we're on monitor one in this case, and click the portion. And as you adjust, ever so carefully and then you can get it closer. So that was 6, 15, 10. Let's go to 20 and see where that does. 
that's even closer and here yeah that's pretty good all right I think I've got it horizontally I'm spot on I think now vertically it's all right okay so now that that is taken care of we can get back into the art And you can see there is some pressure as I push down. There's some pressure on the screen. I'm not too keen on that. Maybe I'll think about getting a, you know, something a little sturdier than this plexiglass, like a tempered glass or something. It's kind of pricey, though. I don't really want to spend more money than I've already done. So that's... That would be the only hindrance to, to doing that. And the good thing about Illustrator, of course, is if you make it wrong, you can just delete it. Which you can't do on paper. I mean, technically. Not as easily. Okay, see how that looks. Well, anyway, just scribbling around using the tablet.